an eagle feather. Um, when you're when you're giving or receiving an eagle feather, uh, you should hear the original story, not of so much of the of the eagle feather presentation, but of where that eagle came from, so that you can actually uh, honor the spirit of the eagle, and uh, you can also honor the spirit of the first original teaching. Uh, of the first original giving uh, presentation of that bird. So when you look at those, you know that uh, somebody's been lucky enough and honored enough to be raised to have those rights. That uh, you're acknowledged in Longhouse. If you're giving, uh, if you're if you're being asked to be a clan mother or you're asked to being a runner, um, you're, you're lifted or you're lofted and you're feasted into that responsibility. Uh, the same as, uh, the same as uh, sweat lodge conductors. Um, oftentimes you can spend uh, your entire lifetime uh, helping out at uh, sweat lodges. Uh, you can spend your entire lifetime uh, gathering rocks or bending poles or tarps or making sure that everything was in order, talking with the conductor uh, repeatedly. Uh, who sits where, what clan sits where, all these things. And you might not ever have uh, been lofted into that responsibility of uh, sweat lodge. So then what happens within that is then you have no, you can't go and build a sweat lodge somewhere. Uh, I myself, if I feel uncomfortable going into another tribe of people or even going into my own people and going into a sweat lodge and I'm unsure, I'll ask, tell me the story of that sweat lodge. Tell me the story of uh, where this comes from. Uh, the same thing is if I go in somewhere and I'm not comfortable. Uh, tell me the story of this. I need to know the original story. Uh, I need to know where all this comes from. And uh, if you still don't feel comfortable, uh, don't enter. Because what oftentimes is uh, People go around now and uh, on, on Google, you can get pipes, uh, you can get shakers, uh, you can go down to uh, Home Depot and buy a tarp, and uh, you can go into the bush and get fiberglass poles, bend them, hold them, and bring them all in. But at the end of the day, it's not me you answer to. It's not the earth people you answer to. It's creators you answer to. So we have to be really, really careful at our responsibilities. Uh, every so often, um, we get asked uh, to help out. Every so often we get asked to uh, to do the best that we can and then every so often we get raised amongst the people that we're acknowledged to be able to hold to host us. But even being acknowledged and uh, being honored to host us doesn't necessarily put you in the position to do that. Uh, one of the things that I'm always careful of doing is finding an alternate. Meaning, uh, I won't go trespass into someone's territory. Um, being respectful to my other brothers and sisters 
that I know that can do uh, and host those sort of same ceremonies, uh, whether they're in those other tribes or within those other territories. And that's the way that uh, I was raised. Um, I was raised uh, not to question uh, the spirit of ceremony, but I was raised to be very careful of what I let into my own vessel. So it's not to say my grandmother or my grandfather were, were uh, better or higher, but what they were was very cautious. And when you're cautious and you're careful, you won't ever get hurt. But if you're careless and you're fast, you're going to end up being hurt or you're going to end up hurting somebody. So I always use those as, as very cautionary uh, um, tools for physical protection in a very honoring way of the old way. Um, I'm not one to be new and if somebody comes around and hangs around me they know that I won't overstep my boundaries. So uh, I just thought I'd share that with us uh, because I, I, I really really worry about uh, where we are in the world of our territorial people within our nation people and within our coastline people. Miigwech. <laughs>